When I write ya All across the USC, Compton, Watts Bay to LA From on the California From valley to valley We represent that killer county So if you keeping it real on your side of your town You tune in to Gangsta Chronicles Gangsta Chronicles We gon' tell you how it goes uh, If I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth Ooh. Gangsta Chronicles This is not your average show You're now tuned in to the real MCA, Big James, and Big Steel This is strictly from the streets Hello Hey, and I know um, Big Rick, how long you been on? Well, if I was active in, in, in that lifestyle there, when I was active, active I was 30, 30 some years, you know, 30, 35 hey, plus. I was 12. <laughs> no, I'm seven. Yeah, I was 12 and I came off the porch. <laughs> yeah, seven years old, 108. Yeah, so, so what's the... So as far as vice lords, I've noticed it gotta be, and maybe this James, you and A can answer this. Is it a connection between the gangs in Chicago and the gangs in LA, man? Is it what now? You say is it a connection? Gangs in Chicago, the gangs in Chicago and the gangs in LA. I, I, I really can't hear you. Is there a connection between the gangs in Chicago and the gangs in LA? Yeah, all over the place. It's, it's connect all over the place. Um, some of the guys, like like my little homeboy, Hand Dog, rest in peace, came from Chicago. He had the same mentality. He fitted right in. You know what I'm saying? But he had to adjust to the difference, uh, the different way how we did it, opposed yeah. to how he was doing it out there. That was the only difference. You know, everybody sit back and we could blame him. Hip hop. I'm gonna say hip hop got something to do with it because listening to the music, young cats think that that's the way. You know what I'm saying? Of 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 being a gangster is to fulfill what they hear off of off the rap. Um, a lot of a lot of a lot of the teenagers today think that you know being the hardest nigga in the crowd is is what get him to the next level. You know, with the bitches, the, I mean the females, the whole nine. So. You know, a lot of these dudes are just lost today, opposed to how it was in the in the mid seventies for me. You know what I'm saying? Coming up, and you had that big homie, just like he was saying. But you know, you don't have the structure no more. But how do you get around that? You get around that by just trying to reach the the main cats, young cats out there that influencing. The little homie right next to him. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do that, you, you know, he going to grow and he going to think it's okay to, to do what the big homie doing because that's his big homie now. Not the ones in jail. The ones that's putting in work is the big homies. And you, it don't matter if he's a year older than you. You're looking at him like the big homie now. One, one big homie leave and go to jail and get life, they're going to look at somebody else as the big homie. And that's how that shit goes. They ain't worried about the one in jail no more. So, you know, everything that we do in the hood, it 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 it, it has a way of showing us this is what we need to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This is how we should get down. This is why we should get down. We thinking we protecting our hood, our territory, or whatever. Our uh, this is where I sell dope, so you can't come on this block. You can't sell. This is what we think we doing. But we, you know, in reality, we don't own none of that shit. It ain't our shit, but how do, how do we get that message across to the homies that seen this growing up? Seeing the big homies do their thing on, on the block. If, if don't nobody tell them or show them, they'll never get it. And nine times out of ten, it's too late to show him because he done got killed at 16, 17 years old. Or wind up in prison for the rest of his life. At a young age. Yeah, well, well, you know what I think, man. And, and, and this is one thing I've noticed, because I'm originally from the Midwest, too, but I've been out in California since 88. I've been out here a long time, so I understand the game thing as far as out here. And one of the similarities that I see between Chicago and L.A. is that they systematically took those 
million figures out the neighborhood. Some of them happen to be B-boys, but they use the, the guys of dope and all that other stuff to put on them and put Rico charges and stuff on them. They took the influential cats out the neighborhoods across the country, and then that's when the chaos and madness started happening. They don't look at it like that. They look like they're taking the cats that's causing the problem out of the hood. If we get rid of all the, the, the major players, then the rest of them ain't going to know how to function. It kind of like backfires because if by taking them out, it's, it's going to be somebody else that steps up. And he more grimier than the original mm -hmm. motherfuckers that was there. So it's pretty much like a backfire. So now you just got the grimy cats that, that's, that's playing the whole game now. And it's by any means necessary. They ain't got no rules and regulations to it. That's in every game. If you have no structure, you're just going to do what you have to do. Because now we are in survival mode. And I'm not going to let a nigga kill me. So I'm going to kill all I can kill. It's like they're trying to cut their head off. Yeah, they cut their head now off. Now you fucking with egos. Young niggas with egos. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the toughest nigga. Everybody want a name. I don't give a fuck how you started, where you started, and when you started. Everybody want to be that somebody in the neighborhood. Yeah. You feel me? And yeah. that's, the, that's the dangerous part right there. Everybody can't be that motherfucker. Yeah, you're right. That's, that's like, that's just, it's the fact of the matter is like, shit, you take away the motherfucker that's giving you structure, it's just like the same situation. You got a motherfucker that's giving you structure or a family member or a brother, they kill him. What you ready to do? That's going to calm you down or that's going to make you get yeah. active? So, yeah. like, like James said, it's a sort of a backfire because they know the motherfuckers that they put in the way holds down the structure, got the brain to, yeah. of, the, of leader shit. Too yeah. calm motherfucking shit, but that scares a motherfucker when they have the smarts and the intelligence. You get me? They feel they ready to deal with the knucklehead because the knucklehead gonna fuck yourself up real quick. Yeah, yeah. But you don't understand the knuckleheads is the ones that's gonna go guerrilla warfare on your motherfucking ass because like they said, we don't really give a fuck. We just gonna yeah. go ballistic and go crazy and just shoot up everything. But you yeah. want to lock up the nigga who can control all of that and bring structure that yeah. terrifies the motherfucker. Because nice. look at what this look at what this motherfucker can do. Look, he got all this shit under control. So all he got to do is really, if a motherfucker wanted to do is run shit, he can really fuck shit up. So yeah. they yeah. figure yeah. lock yeah. him up. The difference between us and the white boys and the Mexicans and the gang shit is that when we go to prison, we think it's all over. If you look at the Mexicans, the Mexicans run their neighborhoods while in prison. We, we don't do that. We don't think like that. It's, it's all he over and done. He got 45 years. If you put fear in these little niggas' hearts and tell them, because you can still run it from the penitentiary. If you come in here, we're going to fuck you. We're going we gonna to whoop that ass. We're going to kill you in this motherfucker. They're going to be reluctant to want to go to prison. It'll slow them down. Because they don't want to yeah. go to prison and, and, and see the real world. That's real. I call it That's real. Because if you're fucking up out here and you're doing your own people, you're going there. It's a different world. You ain't got no hood, no big homies to, to, to help you. The big homies is on you. Yeah. The big homies is the one finna get you. That's the worst yep. fear that any little nigga can have going to prison. Or getting mm -hmm. and going to prison. So we as we, nobody we, goes we and nobody gonna help we don't, Yeah, we ain't looking at it like that. We ain't trying to be a whole. We 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 separate ourselves and, and show other motherfuckers we can't function like that. But that's what the fuck we need to do is is function the way they function. Because yep. ain't nobody getting killed on the street like that but us. And yeah, if motherfuckers true. ain't paying attention, we killing ourselves, the, the, the system is killing us, all odds are against us, you know what I'm saying? And we can't blame it on hip-hop music, you know what I'm saying? We can't blame it on that shit, it got something to do with it, uh, watching certain movies and shit. Man, that's, everybody should know, watching a movie, that shit ain't real. Yeah, you right. Jay, you know what, though? Like when we came up and shit like that, y'all, pussies knew they place. 
pussies. Now these pussy motherfuckers out here now, man. Them the ones with the guns. Everybody know a scary motherfucker kill you quicker than a killer will, because a killer ain't worried about you. A pussy That's scary. the dangerous part, though. You got you got the weenie cats want to be somebody. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. half of the goddamn police and law enforcement was getting bullied and punked by certain exactly. Motherfuckers. But now they got exactly. that title. They can do anything, and they want to do anything just to prove that they're not pussies. Yeah. I can sit here and name a whole bunch of motherfuckers out this way that did this shit and, and been punked the whole nine, but now they're considered the, the hitters. Fuck that. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just like when niggas go to prison and come home buff. I tell a motherfucker like this. Just because you got buff don't mean you not your hands are no better than what they was before you start lifting weights. You the same motherfucker. <laughs> so we can't put no weights on that hard. You can't put no weights on that. You can't put no weights on that. It don't happen like that. So yeah, exactly. you need to just really see the reality of what, what, what gang banging is and the structure of other shit. If you don't understand that, you're fighting the lost cause because all the odds are against us anyway. Yeah. You feel me? Whether you're in Chicago, uh, Atlanta, California, the whole nine, it's all designed the same motherfucking way. But it, it takes, and I know this, it takes us till we get to our 40s. It takes us till we get to our 50s to really realize that shit. Yeah. The smart motherfucker that get it in his teens is a bad motherfucker. Other yeah. than that, I'm riding with the homies. You know what that I'm saying? Right, yeah. Real shit. That's some real shit, man. Because um, it's, it's so many similarities, man. Because um, one thing is big throughout the Midwest period. You know, Cleveland, Chicago, Detroit is pimping. But y'all took the, you know, y'all managed to take two things and two different things. This, you know, to the y'all do everything to the fucking highest level. The pimping and yeah. the motherfucking gangbanging. It's like y'all invented that shit almost. And so the one, you know, one question I wanted to ask, man. Like, you know, we got T. Rogers out here and he got the black peach stones. Is that a Chicago? Is that a Rick Nader Chicago? Yeah, black peach stone nation. Yeah. That was with Jeff Fort and them, you know what I'm saying? That back in the 60s and when they were trying to do the, the black upliftment thing, you know what I'm saying? With the uh, Black Panthers. That was all that movement there. Yeah. Okay. Black peach stone nation. Those stones, we still got people. We still black peach stones. Yeah. So let me ask oh, you. When we saw that on, on Cut with one of the movies, we was like, damn, the stones out there, you know what I'm saying? They fucked us up, but then we know T. Rogers because he was from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So I guess he took the lid out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, so let me ask you this. Um, and I keep talking about the similarities between Chicago and LA because. <laughs> Y'all games came from the whole Black Panther movement too, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. It's all like it's the same thing, man, because um, I, I believe that James, hey, correct me if I'm wrong at any point. That's why I love watching Marv James because he remind me of all the old guys. He remind me of the guys, man. We come up on it. I love watching him every week. I be like, man, nigga Marv James, he a real one. Well, all of us been through a lot of shit, different shit. And it just take that that's something like me just to make you click and make you just see everything for what it is. And if you water something down and you don't have to, just keep it 100. It is what it is, right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of those, like my uncles and all the people I saw watching grow up, I wanted to be like that, but I wanted to be myself. So I incorporated a lot of different shit that I saw, that I heard, and and implemented that shit in me. And so when I did certain things, I believed I was doing the right thing every time I did it. And, you know, some cats today, they don't think, they don't think at all. I I was taught to, to think and plan and put shit together before you go out there and do some stupid shit and look stupid Real doing shit. it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of us brothers, man, understand, but don't fully get it until we get older. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A lot of cats is running around there talking about their men. I didn't I didn't realize I was a man until I was in my 40s. You know what I'm saying? I was on really. <laughs> you know, some real shit. So yeah. being a part of, of 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 being a gang member, being destructive and tearing up the neighborhoods and doing all that shit. I can't be a hypocrite and say a hypocrite and say them niggas is fucking up. They on some stupid shit because uh, we all been on some stupid shit growing up. Now it's about how do you fix or you know touch these cats and let them see this. The way they getting down is 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 not worth it. It don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So if you got motherfuckers to start making records and telling them that the shit that they're doing is foul. Put the pistols down and stop whoop the whoop whoop. We ain't got to shoot each other. We ain't got to hang with each other. Let's just stop killing each other. Y'all stay over there. We stay over here and and, and do our thing. We will grow. The majority of, yeah. of, of a black man life expectancy now is, shit, back then it was 15. Now motherfuckers probably make it to 21. 22 years old. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, it's it's just a lot of shit that come with it and you gotta understand where you're going and where you're at in the, in the whole system. That's all it is, is the system. It's something that the older, the older, the generations before our time started, we just took it and took it to a different motherfucking level and now it is what it is. It, yeah. it has no structure. It has no no loyalty. Mm. It has no. It, it don't have a hold on nothing. None of none of the mm. shit that 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 motherfuckers is doing today. It don't mean shit because they just doing it just because.